What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be showing you how to change the oil on your 2011 and up uh, Chevrolet Cruze. This procedure applies to many other vehicles, all right? The procedure is very simple. First, make sure you raise the vehicle enough to get underneath there. Second step is make sure that you put a drain pan over there, all right? All right guys, once you have your drain pan ready, be sure to locate the uh, drain bolt which is right there, all right? This right here is your engine, engine oil pan. That right there is your transmission. You don't want to drain that, all right? This right here is gonna be a 10 millimeter, all right? And you just don't have, you don't have to tighten it that much. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen that up and get the oil coming. Before you loosen down, uh, loosen up the drain plug, be sure to open up the uh, oil filler cap. So there's maximum airflow and your oil drains faster. All right, let's get down there and loosen up the drain plug. All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and loosen up this bolt right here. We have the drain pan lined up with it. So here we're using a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. We're going to try to loosen it up. There we go. Just be sure that your vehicle is cool because uh, you're working next to the exhaust. You don't want to burn yourself, you know. Line up the drain pan. And once you loosen it up, you can do it by hand. So just try to be quick about it because oil is gonna start to, it's gonna wanna start draining. So here we go. I'm putting a little pressure on the screw so we don't get this. There we go. All right. So now you just chill and start vibing until that's done. All right, here we go. All right, so after a few minutes, your oil should have drained completely. And we're gonna go ahead and put the drain plug back. All right, so let's tighten it up by hand. Oh, make sure you don't cross thread it, okay? Because it's very important that it goes in straight. You don't wanna force it in and have oil leaking, you know? There we go. All right, so we're gonna tighten it up by hand and then we're just gonna give it like a quarter turn with the ratchet just to make sure that it doesn't leak. All right, here we go. All right, so just like this. All right, just a little bit, just un until it's tight enough for it not to leak, all right? There you go, you don't have to go too far or too tight, you don't wanna bend the uh, oil pan or damage and strip the screw. All right, now let's go to the top. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so once your vehicle has been drained out of all the oil, it's time to replace the filter. All right, and if you're standing in front of the vehicle the same way I am, you have to look down here into this plastic thing right here, That this plastic thing right here, come on, that thing. I'm trying to get through the uh, this thing right here and that is a 24 millimeter socket if you have it all right so we have one right here a little socket with a swivel extension not extension but with a swivel thing and that fits right on the filter and then we're gonna grab a ratchet we're gonna grab a ratchet there we go and we're gonna loosen that up just like that all right now it shouldn't be that tight on there so go ahead and take it off. As you can see, there we go. Let me try to do it by hand now, bro. What you looking at? All right. All right, guys. So once you loosen it up, you can actually take this off by hand. All right, just be careful or watch out. Make sure you don't drip everything everywhere. But here we go. This is what it's going to look like. And this, these have gaskets right here. You see this gasket on, right here? The new filter comes with a new gasket, so I strongly suggest you replace that. All right, and to replace the filter, you just pop out, just like that. All right, it's got this little clips down here. Let's put this to the side. I know, I know, it's all oily, I know. And we grab a screwdriver, and we take that gasket out of there. All right, I, I need both hands for that. But let's go ahead and add this filter so I can show you how to put the new filter in. All right. You see the little tabs? 
it goes in the same way all right so till it clicks clicks now let's go ahead and change that gasket and screw it back in all right here we go let's change the gasket just like i said guys now with the new gasket in we're gonna go ahead and put it right into place just like that and then screw it on by hand all right so let's go ahead and get it tightened up and then we're gonna add the oil here we go all right guys so now it's time to go ahead and add the oil all right we have the castro gtx high mileage here 10 w uh, 5w30 that's what we need to use some vehicles that have over 75,000 miles all right we're gonna go ahead and open it up break the seal take it out and pour it in just like that easy peasy i'm gonna go ahead and do some youtube magic i don't want to bother you so you watch me pour this all the way in but it takes um i believe this one was 4.7 quarts this is five quarts so i'm gonna put it right at four and a half and if we need to top it off we'll top it off all right and after that we're gonna go ahead and start it up so like i said just hang on tight youtube magic let's get going once you have filled up your oil go ahead and remove the uh the funnel and let's go ahead and put the cap back on which in this case is right here and don't forget to put your dipstick back on as well all right get my dipstick put the dipstick on now it's a good chance to take it off the jack stands or whatever for for this case we're gonna back it up a little bit take it off the ramps and um measure the oil all right here we go let's do that right now once you lower the vehicle from the ramps leave it running for a few seconds and turn it off check your dipstick to check the oil you have to make sure the vehicle is not running pull the dipstick out all right make sure you wipe it which in this case i'm going to try to use one hand i'm going to wipe it with one hand all right wipe it dry and let's test it right now make sure the, the vehicle is on level ground all right stick it back in and then we'll pull it to read it as you can see we still need to add a little bit more let's see if i can focus on this there we go need to add a little bit more to be past that halfway mark all right so here we go let's open that up add a little bit more and then we'll be good, good to go we're in business all right and that's all you gotta do guys stay tuned all right guys this is what it's supposed to look like we take it out check that out can you see it try to zoom in you try to focus on it come on man focus on it there we go you see he's got to have oil all over well guys that is how you change the oil properly how to properly change the oil on a 2011 and up chevrolet cruise don't forget to hit that like and subscribe follow the channel for more tips and videos like this all right thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day.